I'm CM Coleman, welcome to my home. Today we are using our homemade biscuit mix to make some really simple biscuits. This will take no time at all and you can do this if you don't have homemade biscuit mix, you can use regular biscuit mix, does not matter, but if you make your own, use, here's a recipe right there, you can click that card and it'll take you to the day where we made the biscuit mix. It goes together really fast, fast. don't over mix it. That's one of the big problems. I have my oven preheated at uh, 450 degrees, but you can change it up. And so I'm starting off with two cups of biscuit mix. To that, I'm going to add all of my wet ingredients, which is half a cup of 7-Up Sprite, whatever you want. Just some sort of clear, cold, clear soda or pop, or depending upon where you are. That was half a cup of sour cream and half a cup of butter. Now the easy part, mixing. This is going to turn out in a very, very soft dough. Once everything is mixed, then you're just going to drop it by the spoonful onto your pan. I'm not trying to make these all beautiful and everything. They're biscuits. I want to eat biscuits. I want to eat nice, big biscuits. Now my pan is lined with a silicone pad. I do love the silicone pads. It keeps things from sticking. Try to get your biscuits all about the same size. That way they'll cook evenly. Our biscuits are on the, tri are on the pan. I'm going to stick them into the oven for 12 to 15 minutes, but I will keep an eye on them. So let's come back in 12 to 15 minutes and see how they're doing. Our biscuits are out of the oven and they smell wonderful. Let me give them a taste. Those are moist and sweet and wonderful. They're delicate and they have this great taste to them. Uh, you don't really taste the 7-Up, but it really is good. Now a couple things. If you'd like to teach, if you'd like me to teach you how to use a soda stream, because that is what I actually used instead of true 7-Up is I use the soda stream with the 7-Up type flavor. It worked really well and these taste so good. But if you want to learn how to use one, let me know down in the comments. You can make these at any time. Just remember, keep this in the refrigerator so that that way it stays nice and fresh for as long as you can. Don't forget to subscribe. Every Monday through Friday I do something different. And there's always something cool to check out because you can check out the latest playlist and see what I've been up to. And if you make this, let me know. You can reach me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. I would love to hear from you. If you have any comments, ideas, or suggestions, also leave that down in the comment section because we're using these things which we are making ourselves instead of buying it. We can do, we can make it and have so much fun doing it and it's cheaper and easier and it's so simple. Remember, running your house doesn't have to be a full-time job. Turn it into a hobby and have some fun.